Hi, it's John Cronshaw here with my author diary for the weekend in July the 9th, 2023. I've had a busy week, um, not done much in terms of actual writing. Um, I think I wrote a chapter and, well, basically finished a chapter for Guild of Assassins. So I've got that coming out on Substack this Saturday. But I've spent the rest of this week doing loads of technical admin rubbish tedious stuff so I got really frustrated I think it was at the end of last week with my website with um, you know I had it hosted with MailerLite which is a company that does my emails which they're great for um, I also had a website through them and I was finding that my blog posts weren't getting any traffic they weren't getting um, indexed by Google and everything I tried to get Google to even notice them just wasn't working um, and I went back and forth with support for a while and I just got frustrated because they said oh you know it'll work it'll work everything looks fine it wasn't and it wasn't working so I ended up basically pulling down the entire site um, reposting everything to WordPress so I had a WordPress site a few years I think it was like from 2019 was when I last used it um, so I've just done a complete overhaul of that. Yeah, done, you know, reposted all the blogs, done all the um, design stuff. You know, it took a few days at work to do that. Loads of little kind of technical iffy things. Um, so I think I've done, I must have had about 100 odd, odd uh, you know, blog posts on there. And I think I didn't realise what featured images meant. I thought it was just like an image that would come up when you posted it on social media. But now what it is, is an image at the top of the post. So there were some posts where it have the featured image and then they have another image below it, um, which might be exactly the same. So I ended up having to go back through all those posts, deleting the featured image. So that was fun. Um, but no, it's, it's been a good experience. And, you know, I did a lot of SEO kind of stuff. I actually, because on WordPress, you can do things like, it's just got, got a bit more power to it, you know, with the plugins and everything. So I was able to do things like get it onto Google Search Console and, um, you know, set up Google Analytics and all this background stuff. I have to say, Google Analytics now, oh, don't like it. Don't know what they've done with it. Uh, it must be a new version or something like that. But it's, yeah, I don't know. In the weeds, let's say, of analytics, which I don't need. Um, but that's fine. You know, I, I think what I've done is I've got it talking to Google now. So my website should start listing and I'm already seeing traffic to my blogs. I'm already seeing likes and things like that. Um, and I apologise to anyone who had subscribed to my WordPress site years ago, because I imagine that your feed was probably flooded with, you know, maybe two years worth of content, three years worth of content in one day, two days, whatever it was. And um, so, yeah, also, as well as the website stuff, also did my accounts, so reconciling my expenses. So as I'm sure you agree, that is fun and exciting. Um, but, you know, you have to do these things. That, you know, doing this stuff is what allows me to be a full-time author. And it's just kind of part of the cost of being able to do this. Um, this, I don't know. But yeah, it's infuriating. I, I don't like being in the kind of back end of websites and all that stuff. But, you know, it's a couple of days work for me. Um, and it probably cost more to uh, you know quite quite a bit more to get that kind of website done when I know exactly what I want and I can just get it done and it's just one of those things of like pairing through it with coffee and biscuits so in terms of reading um, I finished reading what was it I can't remember what it was called now the, the Warhammer 40,001 from last week I mentioned that um, I'm on the next book in that series which is called uh, Deliverance Lost the last one was called uh, the Outcast Dead, actually. There we go. Remembered. Um, but yeah, Outcast Dead, that was a good one. I enjoyed that. Um, currently on the next book in that series, which I think is book 18 now. So yeah, enjoying that. Just, you know, rolling on with the grim, dark sci-fi, keeping that vibe going, enjoying that. Uh, things are definitely hotting up now with chaos and the demons and the, all the betrayals and, uh, you know, shifting alliances and things like that. So definitely enjoying it as a big epic story for sure. Um, I think it might be up to like 
late 50s now in terms of the books. I think that it might be finished or it's going to be finished soon, The Horus Heresy. So, yeah, I, I will no doubt be reading those for a while. Um, next week, then. Next week's interesting because I've actually got someone. Um, now, this is, let me think, this is my brother-in-law's uh, brother who will be doing work experience for my company for Wyvern Books. So that's pretty cool. We've got basically a you know, 17-year-old who will be doing some stuff for us. So I think what I'm going to do is get him to do some graphics. Hopefully he'll be able to get on Canva and make some pretty new graphics for things like Twitter and my website and uh, maybe Facebook ads and things like that. Because that is a type of thing, although I can do it, I find it hard with my eyes um you know sometimes after if i'm on photoshop or something i have to ask my wife like is that actually in color because sometimes i can't tell depending on the tone and things like that um and yeah just having someone else do that and also you know if uh he is good he's you know he might be someone who we uh give freelance work to in the future and things like that and you know helping someone out who's uh, part of my extended family. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, see how that works anyway. Um, I might report next week that it is terrible, but I doubt it. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. And I think what's quite... Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Last time I saw him, I think he was probably about nine, nine or ten, and it was on my son's, I want to say, second or third birthday, and we went to Thomas Land, which is you know, the anthropomorphic train. Um, yeah, Thomas, Thomas Tank Engine. Yeah, you remember that, don't you, as a kid? A bit creepy when you think about it, that it's like these, uh, let's call them sapient creatures, you know, humans almost stuck within the body of a train, can only go backwards and forwards on tracks. How did they get in that state? I don't know. There's some really dark kind of maybe body horror you could do with Thomas Tank Engine, I'm sure. If you start to think about it, it's not just delightful trains. There's obviously some evil kind of genetic engineering or something that's gone on to create those things. Pretty horrendous when you think about it. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> still I've not been doing any creative stuff this week, really. Um, you know, I, I think about something and then I go, oh, think about that, blah, blah, blah. And then just go off in a random direction. But there we go. You know, that has been my week. So, yeah. And also... I will be working on um, carrying on with the Guild of Assassins stuff, but I am also looking at uh, probably carrying on with uh, Ravengoth Legends. So that should be fun. So until next time, cheerio.